Guys, this is the one day epoxy flake system from Stone Coat Countertops. No more waiting days for those floors to dry. If you need to do this in a commercial space, you could do this overnight and your customer can open for business the next morning. We're using diamond cup wheels on hand grinders for this size floor. We're about 325 square feet, so no need to rent a big grinder. We'll be able to grind this floor in a couple hours. All right, guys, so after you open up the concrete, we're gonna come and tape this down. And then tomorrow, I'll come back when we uh, begin our work, I'll peel this up. If I have any moisture, this is darkened, or if there's any moisture on my plastic, I now know I need to go to that next test, which I'll leave a link in the description on that test. Um, it's a dome, you glue it down, you got a powder, you first weigh it, put it under there, keep it 24 hours, peel that dome up, reweigh the powder, and that tells you exactly how much moisture is coming through. That's looking good. all dry yeah you can see it's just dust cool let's go grind away after we clean up all the dust we're ready for a Moisture Seal Pro epoxy primer. What is the difference? The working time is about 30 to 35 minutes. So you wanna have your flakes broadcast over this product within that window. If you're working on a large project and you need to mix another batch, that's completely okay. We're gonna mix it up and we're gonna overlap what we just flaked, about eight to 12 inches. Apply the products, rebroadcast the flakes and just work your way out of the building. Guys, we've got multiple epoxy flake color options to choose from. And here's a cool pro tip. You can combine the two to make your own custom look or vibe for your garage space or your commercial space. Today, we're going with some of our sea mist and gravel. We're gonna create sea gravel. Watch it happen right now. And then there's our sea mist. We tried using a paddle mixer before and it does not work. Pour in layers and then you pour in some and then we'll need to vacuum again, boom. This should be plenty too. It's a cool mix. Guys, so this is a threshold I'm building. I've got some vinyl tape down below and I've layered up some of this duct tape. So I have a nice little dam here. We'll put our moisture seal up to this tight, throw all our flakes, and then when we walk out of here, I'll peel this up. You can even let this sit overnight. And then tomorrow, after the epoxy is all cured, I'll come score this line right along here. And we have a nice clean start. Our Moisture Seal Pro Epoxy Primer is also a two to one. And just like also any epoxy, you wanna get it out of the bucket as quick as possible. Take time to scrape the sides. So I'm gonna pour some ribbons and then we're gonna roll this out and broadcast. You still have a pretty good amount of time to apply it, but we're gonna scrape flakes after a four hour cure. With our other Moisture Seal Epoxy Primer designed for the do-it-yourselfer, you have to wait 15 hours to scrape that floor. So if you're a contractor, you've done this before and you wanna get those jobs done in the same day, this system is for you. I picked this floor scraper up at the giant orange box store. It's usually on an end cap by like the tile trim and things like that by the flooring tile. So I'm gonna go light angle, low angle, and just gliding the uh, scraper on the floor. Don't be too hard or you're gonna be digging into that. And I like to work all the flakes to one side of the building. And then we come here and it makes for easy cleanup. And we could just come scoop them right off the wall. Mm -hmm. 
The final step will be applying our polyaspartic pro top coat. It's just like our DIY formula, you just need to work a little bit quicker. We'll mix up one batch at a time and add in our non-skinned additive. This is gonna be a commercial kitchen, so we'll go pretty heavy on that non-skid to ensure a nice non-skid surface. And it's walkable in four hours. Normally I go about a third of a cup per kit, but I'm gonna go extra doubling it because this is a commercial kitchen. Man, I love the way this floor turned out. Mixing two parts gravel to one part sea mist, mind blown, this looks epic. Thanks for watching everybody. As always from Stone Coat Countertops, don't forget, you got this and we'll see you on the next video.